Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to New Jersey, where we find a Sovtard who doesn't really believe in speeding laws. And as a prize for his stupidity, he ends up having to call Safe Light Repair to get a new window. And I would like to thank the subscriber that showed me this video. I very much appreciate it. So let's go ahead and sit back. Relax and enjoy the show. I can hear you fine. I, I can pass you the thing fine and everything. You wanna grab that? All right, the reason why I'm stopping is you're doing 110 miles an hour in a 65 mile an hour zone. Absolutely. Man, oh man, this guy sounds like he's actually proud of those numbers right there. Like he's won the Daytona 500 or something like that. Uh, but this isn't the Daytona 500, so you, you need to slow your ass down, dude. Any reason for the speed? Just trying to get home, officer. What was that? Just trying to get home. Where are you coming from right now? Uh, PA, Harrisburg. I live in New Jersey. Your license valid? Absolutely. All right, you sit right here. Absolutely. Where are you coming from right now? Harrisburg. I can't hear you. Harrisburg. Okay. And where are you heading to? Uh, New Jersey. What's that? New Jersey. You're in New Jersey, but where in New Jersey are you heading oh, to? Oh, Bayonne. I'm sorry? Bayonne. Exit 14. Speeding and not paying attention to where you're going? You didn't even realize you were back in New Jersey? What could have directed your attention away from that? I wonder what it could have been. Just don't start, right? Absolutely. Sit back. Can you um, recap what they did for you, baby? They actually gave me an unlawful sobriety test with uh, no probable cause in the vehicle. Hey, dude. The probable cause was the fact that you were doing 45 miles an hour above the posted speed limit, dude. I mean, get this through your thick little skull that they can do that. That they can pull you over because it is a speed limit. And the reason why is people can get hurt if you get in an accident. Open the door, sir. No, I can't do that. I can't hear you. You gotta open the door. That's fine. I'm not opening my door to you. You already unlawfully entered my vehicle once. You won't do it again, I officer. Your vehicle. You gotta step out for me. Huh, I wonder what the schmuck is gonna do next. Is he going to get out of the vehicle? Like... Uh, with uh, Pennsylvania versus Mims, or is he going to act like a complete soft tart fool and just make up an excuse to uh, stay in the vehicle and end up with a new repair bill? For what? We're just going to have a discussion out here. For what? We could talk you're right not here. Being placed under get out of the car. No, you're it's detaining me. You're detaining me. You We're cannot not detain me unlawfully. He just unlawfully asked me to step out of the car. Listen here, you dumbass. I mean, it's not illegal for the officers to ask you to get out of the car. In fact, it has been held in the Supreme Court, especially with Pennsylvania versus Mims, that it is perfectly lawful for a police officer to ask you to exit the vehicle. So get your head out of your ass and take a look at how the world really works, because as it is, you've got a real shitty view on reality. Listen, can we can talk right here, officer. No, step out the vehicle, we'll we talk about here. We can step right here, officer. Right. We can talk right here, officer. Of not obstructing anything. Get out, get out you, of the car. You cannot arrest me on the unlawful the thing. Is you catching this, babe? Why is the soft hard mindset so hard up on getting arrested for such simple little things? I mean, all you could have gotten was a speeding ticket. It would have been a pretty damn high one for what you were doing. But you want to take it to the next level where you end up having to call Safe Light and uh, end up having to replace something in your car. But hey, I guess you help keep that company in business, huh? So let's carry on, shall we? Yep. You can't what? For what? Are you serious? I mean, you can't tell us to get out without, you know. Are you serious, guys? This is crazy. This is crazy. You're breaking the window. Safe flight repair, safe flight replace. 
Record it. Record it. Record it. Record all this. I didn't do anything. Listen, we don't record want to have any trouble with you. Record all of this, babe. Record all of this. Record all of this. This is crazy. Get out of the car. Easy, easy, easy. Congratulations. Ma'am, your husband, boyfriend, or whatever he is to you is a complete and total moron. Now he gets a visit from Safe Flight Repair, Safe Flight Replace. Now, let's just hope that he doesn't do it again because there are only so many windows that we can spare for complete morons such as himself. I mean, we gotta have other I mean, windows available for everybody, not just the total moron losers like your uh, dude over there. So please tell your idiotic boyfriend or whatever over there that he's a complete and total loser numbskull and that this is not the right path to go down. So let's carry on, shall we? Okay, now listen to me. No. You can't drive the car. We're gonna give you the option to get out of the car. We're gonna relay you off the highway. See, if you do not cooperate, you two will be placed under arrest. I prefer not to do that. I would like you to cooperate. Do you understand? Okay. I want you to open up the car. My shoes. Absolutely. You can grab your shoes. It doesn't ha it didn't have to go like this, okay? You well, officer, sometimes that's the way it has to go because, well, sometimes these sovereign citizens need to go in that general direction to actually learn that what they're doing is not putting them above the law. They're breaking the law every time they do this crap. But most of them don't even learn that lesson. It's a real shame that we have these idiots driving on our roads with no license, insurance, registration, or anything of that nature, and all they care about is themselves. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.